Reggie, I know how much this group wanted to just change the narrative after the loss last week. How does it feel to get the first one of the season? It feels really good. I mean, you got to get the first one to start uh, start uh, to start get it going. Uh, we got a lot of work to do, though. Uh, got some things to fix, but I, I have faith in this group. We, we'll get there. You had eight catches for 140 yards. Where did you find your group tonight? Just just opportunity and the guys out there blocking and, and doing what we all need to do. When we're a unit, when we're a unit, we could be we could be really really good. And I, I felt like we're, we're getting one step closer to being that one unit. And speaking of one of the leaders of this unit, Jake Mayer, he says he really wants to put his stamp, just be, make this his offense. How have you seen him grow? Uh, communication. Everything, everything is about communication. We have to communicate what we see. Uh, he, he doesn't necessarily see uh, what we see, so it's, it's really big going on the sideline and really talking. And then finally, when you see your defense going out there and making pick after pick, putting you back on the field, what does that do for just the unity of this group? Again, opportunity. If we can lean on the defense, if we can lean on the defense, they can lean on us, and we, we have to take advantage of that. They're, they're, they're balling, and, and we with those extra possessions, we have to take advantage of that as well. Congrats on the win. Thank you. Thank you. you. Thank you. Humble as ever from Reggie Begleton. Thank you, Claire. And of course, being able to see Calgary step up in those moments was only accelerated by the fact that these Ottawa Red Blacks, despite the fact that this is not the group of 22 or 21, they're still finding ways to hurt themselves in games. They have given up 10 turnovers in the first two games here, Dwayne. Yeah, and there's no question that they came into their week two matchup knowing that was the clear message, that this is what cost us in week one was an inability to take care of the football. You know, missing opportunities because of turnovers, and yet they weren't able to get that cleaned up this week and not just turning over the football, but as you see here, Brandon Dozier scooping up a fumble, returning that for a touchdown. So not just points off the board, but actually points against directly resulting from those turnovers. You see the late interception there from Trey Roberson snuffing out a, a final Ottawa drive, but it is the number one predictor of the, the outcome of games is yep. that that plus minus the turnover battle and Ottawa has lost it badly in the first two weeks of the season. For the Calgary Stampeders in week three, they will go home and take on the Saskatchewan Rough Riders. And for the Ottawa Red Blacks, you saw in that package of turnovers, an interception from Nick Arbuckle, an interception from Tyree Adams. Will Jeremiah Masoli be back after a bye week? They've got a chance to be able to take a bit of a break here, June 30th, back at home against the Edmonton Elks. There's the possibility that Masoli might be back at TD Place.